Good night, Mr. Lawyer. Maya. Maya, what am I supposed to do? And now? Now you finally found it. The starting line of this case. Edgeworth. I don't care if, for the horn out of here. Let's return to the precinct. Well, right, what are you going to do? If you plan on changing your defense. N no! We can't do that. That's right. He's holding Maya hostage. <laughs> what What do I do? That's not something I can answer for you. M Mr. Edgeworth. Right. Only you can decide where it goes from here. One year ago, at the time, I didn't truly understand what a prosecutor was. And that's why I had to leave the prosecutor's office. I felt that I couldn't stand in a court of law until I knew what a prosecutor really was. And now, right, it's your turn. My turn. What is the thing... What is... What is this thing called a lawyer? What can you do as one? You suspect... You must find the answer. And you must find it on your own. Let's talk to Edgeworth. Matt on guard. I'm a lawyer. But to fight for someone who's clearly a killer? Matt on guard. That man is really... Ugh. It doesn't matter who. Every person deserves a proper defense and a fair trial. Isn't that the basis of your judicial system? Proper defense? But what exactly is that? Is it where a lawyer fortunately and blindly goes to acquittal through shouting and trickery? <sighs> Ironic that you of all people would say such a thing. Isn't that exactly how you fought for your clients up until now? Uh, well, that may be true, but... But that's... That's because I believed in my clients to be innocent from the bottom of my heart. But if I were to get unguarded and acquittal, that, that wouldn't be a proper defense at all. I became a lawyer because I thought... I thought I could save people who were suffering and in pain. But when I looked at this mess we're in, I can't protect the person closest to me. Even if I win this case, I'll still lose in the end. I just don't know what to do! Right. You should get a hold of yourself. You have it all wrong. Huh? Why aren't... Why aren't some sort of heroes? We aren't some sort of heroes. Heroes. We're only human. You and I. You want to save someone. Had something easier said than done, wouldn't you say? That's... You're a defense lawyer. You can't run away from that. You can only fight. And that's all you can do. Why fight? People like you and Francisca Von Karma are always using all you have to pin me down. You fight to the very end, and even when the truth is not with you. But I'm not like you. I can't fight for a false verdict, for a man I clearly know to be guilty. Francisca, she fights for herself. And the only thing she fights for is her perfect win record. That's all. And isn't that the same as you? Isn't that why you ran away a year ago? Because your precious win record was destroyed? You are so petty. I see. Now I understand why you despise me so. <clears throat> However, you are mistaken. What do you... Thanks to you, when you sealed my off my path to a perfect win record, I began to realize the error of my ways. I realized that things such as a perfect win record were meaningless. Eh? I don't believe you. Are you saying that that's why you left the prosecutor's office? But then, why? Why are you here now? The answer to do that is something you will find on your own. I have faith you will f see it before the bird to get read tomorrow. But if you can't, then you will be powerless to change the ending of the story. I'm sorry for what happened earlier. Well then, Mr. Attorney, do you wager you can obtain an acquittal tomorrow? 
My, my, what a mess. What's the matter, Mr. Attorney? You don't see your usual anger this time. Tell me, please. Why are you holding Maya hostage for Mr. Umgard's sake? Why are you... Why are you doing this, you cold-blooded killer? Right. Please don't misunderstand things. He is my client. Don't toy with me. A man who hired an assassin just as much as the killer himself. I believe you were asking me a reason for why I am doing what I am. Y yeah. This is what I like to call my aftercare. What? That is aftercare. My name carries a certain amount of honor and dignity, Mr. Roy Attorney. I take great care to ensure that no suspicion falls upon the clients for my handiwork. That is why my client relations is part of my assassin's duty. An assassin's duty? We are unlucky this time that my client was arrested as a suspect. As a result, I did what I had to enlist your expert help, Mr. Attorney, and to ensure that you would do everything in your power to the very end. What is your name? I believe I told you once before. However, you did. But my name is D. Killer. Shelly D. Killer. You're Shelly D. Killer? Please keep in mind that you do not have much space to maneuver with me. As a D. Killer, I always finish what I set out to do. If you fail to keep your end of the bargain, Maya! It would be my duty assassin to see it that she receives a nice long nap. Ah, no! Now then, if you'll excuse me, if someone were to trace the signal back to me, it would be quite troublesome. Meow. Mystic Maya, Mystic Maya! I, I don't know what to say. Edgeworth, hmm? Did you hear that? At the end of the transmission. Huh? Oh, that. It sounded like a cat. A cat? It can't be! That cat! Can it be? What is it? I think- I think I know where Shelly DeKiller is holding my hostage! Edgeworth! Have all police head for Angarde Mansion immediately! Alright, you hurry over there then. Don't lose hope yet, Pearls! The fight has only just begun! Yeah! Okay, I'll see you guys next part because it's 19 minutes, so I'll have to split this video in two halves! I'll see you guys later! Sweet!